Welcome back, friends. I'm Juliet, and today we're going to be doing 30 minutes easy yoga practice. It's going to be full body workout. I will give you some modifications if you are a beginner, and I will give you some extra variations if you want to work a little bit more challenging. So we don't need to compare. Just do the best what you can do. And as always, I'm going to guide you through, guys, and you, team, will do your best. So let's begin. All right, guys, so let's begin seated. And we will begin with a little gentle stretches. So let's reach all the way up. Big reach towards the fingertips, towards the sky, towards the ceiling, towards the sun. And let's go ahead and take those arms all the way back. And let's take them up one more time. Big reach. And on exhalation, all the way back. Let's do it one more time. Big one. And let's draw our hands right up front of the heart. And close your eyes, guys, just for the few breaths. Let's set a positive, nurturing, loving intentions for this day, for this practice, for ourselves, so we can grow, explore, and become a better people. Let's go ahead and reach one more time all the way. Big breaths, and let's take the one hand on the side, reach it all the way right above the head. Try not to fail the shoulders forward, reach up and open, express through the heart, and let's do it one more to the other side. Oh, the way the sun is shining right into my face. And let's do it just a couple more for each side, guys. Just a couple more for the each side. Big reach, express, 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 and one more team all the way to the side. And reach it to the other direction. Very good. Great job, guys. Let's go ahead and continue with the little shoulder rolls. Just to wake up our shoulders. Shoulder joints, lubricate the joints. Give it a few. One direction, doesn't matter which one, and then view to the other directions, all the way. Very good. Go ahead, Tim, and connect those hands together. Reach them up and above the head, above the ground, lengthening through that spine really, really nicely, all the way. Very good. And let's take the right hand all the way on the floor and reach up and open all the way guys make sure that you expand through the heart draw the ribs apart just like a feathers enjoy being alive and let's go ahead and do it to the other direction all the way reach up and open big breath guys expand through the rib cage collar bones are wide Remain seated on the both seat bones. And let's go ahead and take it all the way back. Take your hands behind the back. You can connect them, whoops, or you don't have to connect them. Hands are somewhere here too. Reach up and open all the way. Big breath, big reach behind. Very nice. Wonderful, guys. So let's go ahead and take the hands behind the back this time. And we're going to do a few hip reaches. So reach the hips up. If your hips can come off the ground, don't worry about it right now, right? Just do the upper body stretches. Let's do just a few more. Reach up and open. Big breaths. And exhalation all the way back. Let's do a couple more. Reach up and open. Big breaths, guys, all the way, expansion through the shoulders, through the wrists, through the elbows, through the hips, and one more time, reach up and open. Excellent. And let's slowly come back to the center. And from here, we will continue to work with the shoulders. So reach those arms all the way on the side, nice and long. Then take them up front. Take your left, guys, inside your right. Reach those arms. For a little bit higher, so elbows guys slightly higher, shoulders slightly lower, eagle arms. If you can connect them fully, do not worry about it, right? Just do whatever you can. Reach, breathe, close your eyes. Just a couple more, my friends. Just a couple more. 
and let's go ahead and undo those arms take them all the way behind and straight reach again all the way on the sides and this time bring them forward put your right guys inside your left or do the opposite what you did reach elbows a little bit guys higher shoulders a little bit lower draw the navel in and let's close our eyes and just breathe for the few breaths and remember you can always do just the halfway bind you don't have to do the full one and later on we're gonna go for the eagle legs as well so let's slowly release the elbows back on the ground wonderful let's make our transition to our table top right here so raised elbow shoulders guys as always stuck one underneath each other it's very important right knees underneath the hip joints and let's take a few reaches up and then few round spine into the cat reach up and open guys expand through the heart and let's go ahead and take it back all the way reach up and open expand through the heart take it back exhalation one more time guys reach up and open and hold it with me just a few nurturing healing positive breathing cycles so we are not holding our breath guys but we holding these couples and just couple more breaths expand 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 round that spine right now and take the head the crown down draw the navel in express all the way through the spine right and left left and right keep on breathing hold our cat holding our cat pose but we are not holding the breath excellent let's take our toes down towards the floor and reach up and open expand through the right arm all the way guys all the way expand 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 and go ahead and draw this arm all the way behind your lower back or even towards the opposite inner side let's go ahead and sit towards our heels guys try not to release the toes i know it can be very sensitive for some of us try to sit on the toes and just like you're trying to sit on the low bench behind yourself breathe and just a few more excellent take it up and back go ahead and take your left arm up and open big breath guys big expansion through that heart draw this arm all the way behind your back or even towards the opposite inner thigh and slowly start to descend and sit back towards the heels now if it's not available just a halfway through right you don't have to sit all the way but try to hold your toes tucked and sit with your seat bones on your heels and continue to rotate and express through the heart through the rib cage all the way towards the sky that's it let's come back all the way towards the center reach your right leg up with me all the way let's wake up those shoulders a little bit more give yourself a strong push down guys strong push down come on up with me draw your knee chin chest or belly all the way breathe actively do it one more time reach up and this one we're going to reach the left arm up and forward breathe 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 my friends go ahead and connect with the ankle in with the hand if you can do it then just hold hand or foot on the ground guys in just a couple more breaths beautiful let's take it back on the floor cat and cow we're going to do the same from the other side take your left leg up and open and strong push down you don't have to go as deep guys but just do the best of what you can come on back up draws it needs him chin to your story belly connect all the way through so proud of you guys and now extend it like one more time right and we're going to reach our right arm try not to arch or hyper extend your back too much reach long and strong all the way guys inhalation through the nose exhalation through that nose take it back on your mat rounds the spine relax your neck drop the head all the way through 
let's go ahead and put guys our left knee in the center of your mat if you need the knee pads use them take your right and draw it behind like you do the half cow face pose so put it right there and we're gonna do for a few cat and cow stretches one more time it's a little bit feels different for your hips feels definitely different for your back affecting back and hips differently as well so keep on breathing keep on moving hi very good beautiful job guys now what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and tuck the toes in our cow face pose in the tabletop if you can't lift for the hover do not worry about it right but if you can come up with me your wrist must be very strong for that but you can always hold it for the breath or two and then come and bring your knees back on the floor couple more breaths guys very nice let's take it back on the floor switch your wrist to the opposite direction and we're gonna do it just a couple rocking move motions and movements back and forward if it's too sensitive for your wrist guys just put them halfway through just a little bit different angle to bring some flexibility to the wrist and develop it in a different direction we have to take care of all the parts of our body let's undo our legs return your hands back now we're going to put our right knee in the center reach our left leg carries it all the way above your right in a cow face pose tabletop so let's give it a few soft cat and cow movements express with the heart round the back all the way through in that cat pose make sure that your neck is limp and loose and there is no tension in your body some asanas can be very challenging guys but it doesn't mean the practice has to be tense and heavy and hard right all right let's stop right here in the center tuck your toes guys see if you can lift your knees off the ground for the little hover up here just take your time it doesn't have to be long you just can brace with me for breaths or two and set your knees back on the floor and rest when you need all right let's take them back together now i want you to take your wrist opposite direction or halfway through do something a little bit more than you normally do right that way you can grow expand heal your body bring more health and not just regarding the physical exercises right team we have to do always a little bit more than we thought we can and that way the life is going to unfold up front of us new opportunities new possibilities new relationship new adventures is going to be right there for us but we have to make a step towards it just staying constantly in the comfort zone not going to be helping let's start to rock forward and backwards just a few rocking movements motions you don't have to do the big but i want us to have a super strong and flexible wrist and let's take it back in the center guys i'm so proud of you go ahead take your hands to the normal position let's straight the wrist let's give it you can do two in a time just like i'm doing or one support another and then go ahead and switch do another one be very very mindful guys okay let's take it back up here tuck your toes and go ahead and extend to our first downward facing dog today let's make sure that we set a quality alignment Put your hands flat into the ground. Relax your neck. Drop the head. Send the tailbone up and back, guys. And again, express through the chest. Express through the back to all directions. Horizontally and vertically, we expand that back. Press your hand into the floor. Spread your fingers wide. Wiggle a little bit through the tailbone. Draw the navel in. Very good, guys. Look forward and slowly send your knees on the floor express through the heart let's do a few flows like this downward facing dog bend your knees for beginners if you have to and then back to the cow pose 
in. Let's do a couple more. Express, expand, relax the neck. In, back on your mat. All the way. Let's do one more together. Reach all the way back. In, relax those knees all the way back on the floor to the cow pose. We're going to do a few camel pose variations. Easy one. Restore the one and I will give you more challenging modifications and they, but if you don't want to follow those you can always stay on the lighter ones right so let's begin by reaching the arms up and just draw your right hand towards your left heel if you need to use the props use your props push the heart up and open push the, push the hips up and open all the way excellent job sit back on your heels guys to recover draw the forehead in between your knees like a little modification of the rabbit pose come back with me all the way up and this time guys go ahead and take your left hand draw it all the way towards the right hip level the shoulders reach up and open beautiful couple more breaths guys Big breath, good, strong, vital breath. Take it back all the way, sit back towards your heels and go ahead and bring your forehead on the floor like a preparation for the rabbit pose, just a half version of it. Take it back, guys. Now, next one, you can put your hands on your back if that needs to be done, if you're not ready. Or, guys, go ahead and take the hands on the heels Push the hips forward, take the heart up, and express all the way. It's still an easy variation, supportive one, but if you can't do it, guys, then simply put your hands on your lower back. Mm, that feels so good, but this one we have to repose, guys, in your downward facing dog. It's really important to give the stretches. If we do the forward fold, we're going to go for the... Uh, if we do the back bend, we're going to go for the forward fold, right? Forward bend, which is our downward facing dog. Take it back all the way on the floor. We also will do today the one-legged camel. Let's take the right foot up front, guys, all the way. And you can either stay just up here, give it a little support, or you can also draw your right hand towards the left ankle. Reach up and open, express through the heart, push the hips slightly forward, guys. Breathe actively with me, breathe actively. Very nice. We need to find the little balance here first. Very nice. And take it slowly back. Let's repose it. Take the hand on the floor, extend the back knee or keep that grounded. Reach up and open. Very nice soft long extended spine now you can stay just right here you can also put your knee back on the floor you can remain in your lunge pose and take your hands up front of your heart very good just a couple more breaths guys just a couple more breaths beautiful take it back all the way on the floor knees back on the floor we're going to take our left foot up front and reach the arms up and open tuck your toes you don't have to take the left all the way towards the left heel but you can do it if that's available reach hips up and forward all the way guys express through the heart gives it back the abs legs a full around full body straight couple more breaths very nice take it all the way back we're going to repose it let's take the hand on the floor extend that right knee open it up to the side twist in the runner lunge open it open it draw it now you can always guys put your knee back on the floor or if you would go with me take the hands up front of the heart and revolve it all the way palms pressed equally nicely into the into each other and elbows stacked back is long and extended and just finding this balance stability connection with the earth let's take the hands back on the floor this time playing pose if you need to take your knees on the floor you do it right away 
otherwise stay with me in this plank just for the few more extra breathing cycles you can do it guys and slowly draw those knees on the floor let's push down and hold it bringing the strings to those shoulders keep on breathing guys we're just gonna hold it for a few breaths in and out through that nose stay super strong connected with that body release your toes roll the shoulders up back and down beginners you might consider to take the elbows underneath the shoulders everyone else you can do the cobra hands slightly farther you can also do the up dog with me when the wrist elbow and shoulders stacked one on top another reach all the way up and open big breaths big expressions through that heart very good guys few more breaths very nice i want you to rock your hips on the left side and open create a space in between in between the hips the rib cage everywhere beginners support yourself up here don't block it with the shoulder or everyone else reach with me to the side plank big breaths be cool but in express 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 slowly take it back to the up dog cobra or the sphinx pose whichever is in your practice be very mindful but don't forget underdoing not gonna lead us to any improvements we have to make sure we exceed a little bit our present abilities at least we try let's go ahead and rock our hips on the right guys on the right make sure that you watch for that shoulder you can definitely support watch your wrist elbow and shoulder also stacked now stay right there or open it up to the loving side plank let's express through the sidelines there's a lateral stretch all the way guys beautiful take it back all the way on your up dog or cobra pose reach up and open and this time we will together bring the belly on the floor take your hands wider reach up and bring it back on the floor forehead grounded reach up guys with me take it back on the floor reach up with me all the way and start to bend your elbows drawing the little connection into that body you can move faster slower than i do it doesn't matter close your eyes and just make this movement yours make it feel right make it feel comfortable use each and every cell in that body to move it doesn't have to be anything super special just connect with that physical body with your mind with the true self that's so important let's come back to the center remember guys i promise you eagle arms and legs so we're going to connect we're going to take the right arm left inside you don't have to do the full eagle bind at all but if you can that's excellent so you can decide to hold it just right here bring the forehead to those hands you can lift your feet all the way all the of the floor like we do the basic shalabhasana or lacoste pose you can also reach the elbows off the ground just don't forget guys do not smash the neck focus on long extended back we breathe in actively i'm so proud of you guys keep on breathing and from here we will gently undo the arms bring the legs back on the floor send your chin on the arms or set it on the side whichever feels right we're gonna give it a breath or two just making sure to recover very good guys wonderful job let's go ahead before we do the other side we're going to come back oh, in the sphinx pose you're going to take your right all the way above your left and connect through the ankles just like this reach up and open you're going to feel a lot of movement a lot of sensitive spot in the lower back but i want you to push the toes away from the hands lengthening through the spine you're gonna feel that lower back 
just make it gentle. If you need to undo your legs a little bit, undo them, keep on breathing. In through the nose, out through the nose. Go ahead and undo the legs and reach your feet nice and flat up into the air. Knees of the ground and strengthening that back, making the back stronger. If you can bring your knees off the ground, still keep on trying. Take it all the way back. And this time, guys, we're going to take our left inside the right, opposite to what we did. And you can just stay up here. Breathe, or you can come with me and lift those legs off the ground. Reach up and open. Inhalation through the nose. Exhalation through the nose. Observe the differences between right and left shoulder. We always have little unbalance and disbalance in the body, but we're working in a harmony in this practice. And let's go ahead and send the arms on the floor. Breathe. Very nice. And just a breath or two. And we're going to cover our left with the right leg. And you're going to connect your ankles. Come on up with me into the Sphinx pose. Stay right there or push against the ground and open up into the gentle cobra with ankle bind. Reach, hold the way, breathe. Express through the back, shoulder blades apart. Heart open. Oh, feels so good. And we're going to take our flat feet one more time into the air if you can't lift them over the ground that's okay but you have to connect the glutes activate the back breathe actively guys and make sure your shoulders not blocking your neck breathe 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 flat feet towards the sky and take it back on the floor go ahead and prepare to make a transition for a downward facing dog all sort of pretty bug scrolling on my mat let's reach down with the head you can bend your knees if you have to right beginners you can always do that let's take our right leg up and open all the way and look underneath the right now bend your left elbow for me square your right arm a little bit and look underneath if you need to bend your knee you can do that as well Keep on breathing, keep on expanding. Just like you're trying to put your left all the way, like you're trying to put your left all the way into the dolphin pose. Ooh, let's take it back on the ground. Relax your neck. Very good. Let's take our left leg up and open, guys. And we do the same thing. We're gonna try right now, right elbow. Draw it lower, closer towards the earth, square up on the left. Continue to look underneath the left. Breathe actively, pull the navel in. Stay with me, just like you're trying to put this right elbow to the, uh, to the little dolphin pose. Get it all the way back down. Bring your both knees on the floor. And let's go ahead and sit back on our mat. I prepare for you a little uh, Lord of the Fishes modification. So let's take our right foot inside and we're gonna take left across. Now guys, if the left doesn't go across, you can always set it just up here and that's as much good. We're just doing step by step. So once you're there, make sure you sit nice and equal on the boss sit bones guys you can choose to sit just up here with the level shoulders right no crooked back all the way reach by slouching the shoulders you're slouching your mind so mind up and bright and if you can take your right arm across the left support yourself behind reach up and open let's close our eyes and just give it a few loving breathing cycles I'm guys so proud of you. Just focus inside, focus within. Life is so short to constantly live in the past or in the future. We have to be present, give everything we've got in the present moment, whatever we're doing. But it takes some practice. And let's take it all the way back. We're just going to reverse it to the simple variation. Just open it up. 
Very nice. Great work, my friends. Go ahead and grab this left leg. You don't have to fully extend it, but if you can align your left with the right calf and chin, that would be beautiful. Reach up and open. Wonderful job, guys. And let's go ahead and simply switch. We're going to put right now our left hand side and right can go across or stay up front. Whatever is available today for you. So sit up and tall, just up here, or we're gonna take our left arm towards the right leg outside. Little soft rotation. Start at the lower back and then slowly bring it up to the spine. Let's give it a few breaths again. Close your eyes. Just finding that precious connection, mind, body, and the true self, which is always there, but we are so busy searching, looking, making money, worrying too much, chasing the dreams, the goals, but sometimes we just have to look within. And let's switch that to the other direction. Open it up. Breathe through. Inhalation through the nose. Exhalation through the nose. Soft and nurturing one. Let's go ahead and pick up our right leg. And you don't have to extend it, guys, fully, right? But try to align it. Knees, one knee on top, another knee. Then level your shoulders, of course. Find the balance. You can also use the straps in towels when you can reach your legs. You can hold it with two arms, but straps would be the best choice for it. That's it. Great work, my friends. Let's go ahead and open up our legs to the wide seated angle. Now, it definitely doesn't have to be superb, superb wide. Just do what feels right. And you must be able to sit with a straight back. If that's taking you back and you like shaking really, really much, that's a little bit too wide. Your legs are too wide. Now, once you open your legs, so just pull your glutes out. Pull them glutes out, pull the um, hamstrings out too. That's gonna help you to go deeper. And from here, just begin with your elbows. If elbows not even close, begin with the hands up here. Just hold your hands. Or go ahead, get lower. And then step by step, breath by breath, we're gonna start to take it a little bit deeper. It takes some time to open the hips. It's external hip rotation. We do a lot of things in our yoga practices to open that, but it takes some time. So do not hurry up. Just give yourself a little bit love in those hips, a little bit love and just continue to dive on exhalation. Inhalation, preparation, exhalation, guys, we dive. Be gentle, be nurturing. Don't push, don't force it. You don't have to prove anybody anything, right? We all different. And it's time, it takes time to open the body, to open the hips. So a couple more breaths. In through the nose, out through that nose, and then slowly, gently start to come up. But guys, let's go ahead and put our both feet up front to the simple crisscross position just where we started. And team, close your eyes. Just close your eyes and look inside, look within, find that precious self which is always there which is above the mind above the physical body pains and aches and sometimes we just need to dig deeper in order to find that healing for this physical body and let's look inside and let everything what doesn't serve you anymore let go all anxiety unforgiveness fears which holding us back all discontent, anything you have. We all adults and sometimes we envy, sometimes we discontent and we human beings and sometimes we are not satisfied with life. But it doesn't do anything for us. All it does, it's pulling us back and preventing us from happier, 
bigger, more blissful, healthier lives. So let's go ahead and reach all the way up. Bring everything you wish inside that heart, inside that physical body, all the vitality, all the health, all the happiness and passion about this life. Give yourself and the world a big, beautiful, inside-out smile. Smile with your heart and flow through the rest of this precious day with unshakable peace and love inside. Namaste. See, what a wonderful, wonderful practice. So please let me know how you feel. Comment below, how did you do with this practice? Let me know what else I can do for you. And I will see you soon.